Hello again. So we're at the side of a nice gravel pit on a lovely summer's evening. So it's absolutely gorgeous, it must be 25 degrees. Can't see anybody else fishing. It's quite a weedy gravel pit. Today we've just come for an evening session uh, with eight mil cubes of lunch and meat. Uh, I've got some worms as a change bait. I've got some corn as well, some pallets, but I'm hoping to catch a few tench on lunch and meat. I've got a very fine sensitive waggler float and I'll show you in a minute. Basically it's a long thin, it's got a very long thin stem with multiple colours on it so I can see the indications from the tench if they're playing with it or, or it'll slowly sink away. I'm just laying, laying on bottom a little bit and I've hopefully found a spot with a bit less weed in it. I'm just going to fire a few cubes of meat in. Had a couple of indications already that I've missed bites on. But what a beautiful evening, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's five o'clock now, so I've only come for two or three hours. Basic waggler setup, very uh, sparse tackle and bait. Hopefully we can get a few bites and a few fish. There's some big roach in here and big perch. Uh, optimistic we might get uh, a roach in some description. We'll have a look at the rig while the swan's in the swim. So we'll have a quick look at this float. It's quite a new float. I've not I bought it that long ago. Not like some of the others that are 40 years old. It's a Drennan 1.75 gram and it's a Visiwag 2 it's called. Visiwag 2. Green in stem. But it's got a very long, long thin top. It's painted in different points though. So. Uh, enables me to see bites and I can stand it proud of the water because tench are very fiddly, finicky. So I quite like to use it for tench. And then if we go down the rig, I'm about eight foot deep. Got some shot down the line. I've got six pound main line because it's a snaggy in here and you need some carp in here. I've got a five and a half pound trace to a 14 hook and I've got a swivel as my main main dropper, my main uh, bulk. There's a couple of shots to so she shot it down in a swivel and a six inch trace. So three or four inches of that will be laying on the bottom. Because it's just a short trace, I'll know if it's been held up with weed or anything. Well, that, well, that's the plan anyway. Hopefully they'll take a bit of meat. Tents normally like meat. And it's just a nice way of fishing in an evening, just a waggler float. I like to do this very early in the morning as well, because tents feed first thing. Looks like a tench, I think. It's trying to get in the reeds. It's not a big tench, it's only a little one. It's a nice start though. Let's try and get its head up out the reeds. Ooh, it's coming with a pile of weed. Might use a keep net tonight. Of oxygenating weed there. Let's have a quick look at him. Perfect little tench. <laughs> Beautiful. What the gorgeous creatures. Really are absolutely beautiful. Perfect, thin, perfect. Stunning. <laughs> Pulling back.
Oh, it's a perch. <laughs> Beautiful fish, unmarked. I think gold pits in this clear water. They're very dark colours. A beautiful looking fish. That's where we get those big roach. They take lunch meat as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a nice roach. Oh, and it's come off. No. Oh, that's quality as well. Oh, that was disappointing. <laughs> that was a quality roach. That was around the pine mark, that was. That was a big roach. Oh, it's gutted. They set the rest of the shelves down there and they can catch one of them. Or his great granddad. This feels like a better one that's gone in the weed. Oh, it is a better one. Not massive. Tench. Oh, I'm fighting though. Oh, doing another surge. A fight hard the tench. Lot of weed with it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Just some of this weed. Absolutely beautiful fish, <laughs> stunning. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. It's fin sunning brown. Let's put him back. So not a monster, but very nice to catch. Lovely to come in this type of fishing and just catch tents like this. I think they definitely struggle to resist a piece of luncheon meat. Just a single cube of eight mil meat, plenty of point of the hook showing. The float is incredibly sensitive with a long fine top. I've uh, said so bought this one, I bought a bigger one as well. That I might use on the trend next time I'm on there. Uh, when I'm roach fishing, especially if it's windy, or I'm fishing at long range. This one's quite a small float, it's all right for short range work. But the, fi the fish feel hardly any resistance with this one. It's really, really light. Oops. 
a little indication on the on the drop there whether a roach tried to intercept it on the way down. Oh yeah, that's another tench I think. Certainly fighting like one. It's either that or a fantastic roach. Nice. Absolutely stunning fish. That was only a pound and a half, you reckon? <laughs> Lovely fish though, look at absolutely beautiful. Probably not even a pound and a half, but it felt, felt, felt like something bigger. Oh, yeah, in again. Oh, lost it. Suck a bit early on that one. Paid the price. Should have left a bit longer. Sun's disappeared behind the trees now. What a fight these give. That's why the tackle's setup is so strong. Even for these smaller tents, you gotta keep them out of the weed. I've got him. And a lot of weed. Oh, that wriggly. Put the finger in, calm it down. Stunning fish, beautiful. Put him back. Oh, holding on to this one. It was like a decent fish. But the tents do fight hard anyway. Just got to keep about them weeds. Might be the biggest so far. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. It's 
size of the fins, it's no wonder the fight's so hard. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Stunning fish. Lovely coloured eyes on them. Dark green bodies and big fins. Stunning. Uh, so literally today, I've literally cut up one, one tin of lunch and meat, plum rose. Oh, got a bite. Just thinking about it. Yeah, and that's all I've fed so far. I've fed about half the tin. We've got the odd bubble coming up in the swim. I'm surprised there must be quite a few tents down there. There's some big daddy roach as well. Oh, missed it. Bites look unmissable, but I've managed to miss it. I used to fin fish ponds like this when I was growing up. And um tench ponds with full of lily pads. Oh, I've missed it again. Beautiful place to fish. Really quiet. Picturesque. And the things you never know. Places like you just never know what you're gonna catch. You never know how big the fish are gonna be. Oh yeah, I just took it as soon as it got to the bottom. It's really coming onto the meat now. Oh, what a fight. Try and keep it out the so swim if I can. Like that weed. Oh, that's, is that tension number six? Hope you're keeping count. Oh, another beautiful fish. Which fish you fell out that one? Quick look at him. That's not very big, that's a little one. Not. <laughs> put me and put back. See if his dad's down there. So that's gone on the drop. Just virtually settled. It's a little tench. Swan's trying to pinch my lunch of meat. And I've got a little tench. Take, trying to take it on the drop. even swallowed it. Really is a little baby one this one is. <laughs> Diner, put it back. It hooked itself on that did. It's took it that well. Again it took it just as it settled.
So none of them are great or massive size, but they're great fun. Again, it's been perfect fish. Let's put it back. Or a bit of bait at. Oh. I think the tension coming up for it, which you don't see very often. Try again. Oh, missed it again. But I've been here probably an hour and fifteen minutes now. We've just gone six o'clock. We had eight, eight tench perch. Still got an optimistic swan. I haven't got anything to feed him with really. Oh yeah. That's if I can go to the bottom through the weed, I'm getting by very quickly. Still on. Thought it might have come off in the weed. So the last three fish, as soon as it's settled, poof, gone. That's why the fish are in such good condition though. Be full of shrimp and Another absolute stunning fish. <laughs> Get back. Number nine. All right, so just cast that in. Hopefully it'll settle past the weed and we'll see how quick we can get by. I think it's just the smell of the meat that the tench love. This time of year, they'll grub around in the weed and the silt for them, the pieces. But I'm not feeding anything else, so I think um, that helps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so as soon as you can miss the weed, it'll get a bite. <laughs> not a big one. But it's number 10 if I get in. Ooh, it's gone in the weed. It's, it's in a big pile of weed, but we've got it. It's in here somewhere. Very little one. Probably not even a pan, that one. <laughs> Beautiful though. Put it back with the weed.
quickly from getting another one. We're losing the light, but I don't want to back up. <laughs> Look at the light like this. <coughs> so the last couple of hours, when the light starts to change, when they come on feed, all year round that is, but it's less so in winter, because the feeding spell will be shorter, but in the summer, it can be, it, it can be really good like this in the summer. So what I think's happened is all the bottom's been churned up, we're catching a few fish. So I've had to come to the side of it to find a clearer spot. So I can't fish where I've been baiting up at the moment, so we'll see if we can get a bite. Oh. We did, but I still missed it. I'll try and get one more fish. But as we're losing the light then, if you've got a local pond, something you might never fish before, try it last couple of hours as it's getting dark with lunch and meat eight mil cubes feed very little you only need one tin and see if you can catch anything I mean, we've had 10 tents so far I'll try and catch another one before we go uh, one perch and then lost that big roach we're definitely going to come back another go oh, I'm on the weed again there's loads of that floating weed around here. So it's a bit frustrating to get the bait down, but you never know. You know, like a local pond, small gravel pit. They hold uh, all sorts of fish in it. And lunch and meat. Oh yeah. Lunch and meat, maybe the bait for them. So we'll make this if we can get in the last fish. <laughs> Not a big one. Only a little one. I've got time for one more cast. We'll have one more cast. Only a little one, not even a pan that one. I've come a bit straighter in front of me, but away from the feed, but there must be quite a few fish down there. I'll hold my rod. <laughs> you know, I'll bite already, look. I'll try and get one more fish. When it's days like this, you don't want to back up when it's like this. I've got a torch in the car and a head torch. I even have a couple of starlights to put on the float as well. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's not a big one. It's a little one, this one is. Tiny one. That's a tent though. Wow, that's that a small one. Lovely. We'll try for one more. Poor big patching. Maybe we're going in a minute. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <gasps> Barely even settled. They're waiting for it to hit the bottom. Another little one. Oh, it's actually swallowed it. Beautiful. I've still got a bit of bait left and it's not dark just yet. One more fish. Big patch of meat. We've already got the meat out there. The rod went round, <laughs> but he did duck it itself on. Oh. Slightly bigger than the other ones. Oh, fighting out. Well, that makes 13, so I can't leave it at 13. Bad luck. The better one, though. One more. Last fish, promise. Straight away, the small one this one is. <laughs> Tension bung. Such rich colours in this gravel pit water. Such a stunning fish. Beautiful. 14. Almost took it then, thought about it. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one as well. I said the biggest will last. I hope so. I keep it out the weed. It's gone in a clump of weed, so it's difficult to see how big it is now. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, it's back in the weed again. Still on. Buried in a huge clump of weed, I think. I think it's still in there. Oh, 
I'll have a look in a minute. If it is, what a great way to end the session. <laughs> yeah, well, there is a fish in there. Oh, it's a lovely one as well. Let's get this weed off it. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely the biggest one. I save the biggest till last. That's a proper one. What a lovely fish to finish with. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Beautiful. One of the best looking fish, these are. Oh, what a beauty, we'll have a look around at the other side of him. Let's turn him around. Absolutely stunning fish. <laughs> what a great way to end a nice evening session like this. Remember to try your local pond, your local gravel pit, one tin of lunch and meat, it's all you need. Beautiful. So that's my biggest inch I've caught in a while. Let's see him go. Trying to go. <laughs> Gone. So what a fabulous way to end the tent session. Thanks for watching. Hope you really enjoyed the video. I've really enjoyed making this one. It's been great fun. Bye for now. Oh.